Since we launched our Don't Trash Our Treasure campaign, we've been telling you about all the damage caused by balloon releases. And now a state lawmaker is working to ban all balloon releases in Florida, and the move is getting wide support. Local 10 Saluya Geary has tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. We are seeing the havoc that this does to our ecosystem week in and week out across our state. But now a new bill may stick a pin in all intentional balloon releases that happen in Florida. I've followed this issue of how balloons uh, impact our wildlife, particularly endangered sea turtles. And when this bill was suggested to me, I said, yeah, that, that's a good idea. We need to do that. It's time. State Rep Linda Cheney from Tampa St. Pete is sponsoring the new legislation that would amend the current state statute. So I've negotiated to where we're identifying a balloon that's released for what it is, which is litter. Right now, Florida allows for limited balloon releases and exempts balloons marketed as biodegradable from regulation. Cheney's new bill, HB 91, would ban the release of all balloons statewide, even those labeled as eco-friendly. There's really no such thing as a biodegradable balloon, especially because most of them have a string attached. And once you attach the string, that's what really creates the problem. Seabirds are constantly getting tangled up in those strings and have been known to eat the balloons that get stuck in their digestive tracts and kill them. Balloons are equally deadly for marine mammals and sea turtles who often confuse balloons for food. So when these balloons end up in the ocean, especially latex balloons, when they pop and explode, um, they, they look and they smell a lot like jellyfish. So our endangered sea turtles are eating these balloons. Catherine Uden is a South Florida field rep for Oceana, a conservation group long lobbying for a total ban on balloon releases. There's so much public support. Every time there's a balloon release, people are upset, they're angry, and they want something done about it. And finally, we have the opportunity. And in sponsoring this bill, Representative Cheney has found a most unlikely ally. Florida cattle ranchers who say the problem of balloon pollution has become so pervasive it's killing their cows. A lot of balloons fall on their property and get eaten by their cows. Yep, it's a thing. We even asked an expert at the University of Florida who confirmed that cows that mistakenly eat balloons most likely will not survive. Because they cannot digest the balloons. Disturbs so cows lose weight, they stop eating. And if there's no intervention, the animals can come to, can, can end up dying. It's a basic law of physics. What goes up must come down, even as far west as the Everglades. And so many of these floating time bombs end up in our waterways. Louis, this is for you. South Florida boaters constantly share images with me of all the balloons they find in the ocean. Careless boaters decorate their vessels with balloons that can easily detach in the wind and prove deadly for marine life. Conservationists hope that this new bill, if passed, will send a strong message to all that balloons are just bad for the environment. I really feel that once we get the education out there, we're gonna move away from these intentional balloon releases and look at them more like littering events. Your life will still be happy if you can't release balloons that are actually litter and harm our wildlife, harm our environment, and really, you know, take a second thought about that. Do you really need to release a balloon? So right now, Cheney is looking for a Senate co-sponsor for the bill. If HB 91 passes, it could take effect as early as July. Here at Local 10 News, management recently made the decision not to air any more balloon releases in any of our newscast and really there are so many environmentally friendly ways you can honor or memorialize a loved one plant a tree organize a beach cleanup we have a link to a full list of eco-friendly alternatives you can scan that qr code right there it'll take you directly to our don't trash our treasure section on local10.com